Hello and welcome to another edition of Friday Night Drinks. I'm your host, Ashley McPherson. Tonight's quiz theme is TV classics. We're going to be talking all about classical TV. Yeah, that'll do. And joining me as always, our two lovely, uh, lovely captains, Stephanie Everson-Williams and Joey Philpott. Welcome, Steph. I'm pumped. Are you pumped? I, I am. I'm, I'm very pumped. Yeah. I, well, I had, a, I had a few too many Thursday night drinks last night. So oh, right. Well, but... Let's hope you've got the stamina. Yeah. Because, mm. no, you know, you, you, you are coming off a little bit of a loss from last week. And, Joey, yeah. how's your confidence? You know, you feel like you can follow it up with another big win? Mate, uh, after last week's win, I just I, I haven't done any, any training at all. I just thought I'd level the playing field a little bit and... Uh, hopefully make for a bit more interesting uh, contest today. So no training at all. So you, what did you do? You just did nothing and watch TV, which is, you know, training yeah. for a TV themed <laughs> show. No, I actually, uh, I had a quite an quite a active week, you know, I uh, did a bit of exercise and just- <laughs> Did a lot of reading. Cleans the soul. Wow. Mm. Nice for your life story, Joey. Thank so. you. Well, you know, <laughs> whatever. Wonderful. Whatever. Next week's theme will be Joey's life story. To join <laughs> our captains tonight, we have uh, playing for Stephanie's team in the green. We have Maddie Prusad, and playing for Joey's team, we have Arvi Brenshaw. Now, Maddie, yep. you're here with Steph. Yeah. You know, you're feeling confident in your in your team, Captain. <sighs> yeah, I reckon. Fantastic. You were <laughs> what? <laughs> no, she's, she's, she sounds confident. She's quietly confident. Are you a big TV fan? Oh, yeah. I watch a lot. Oh, excellent. Favourite yeah. show? Doctor Who. Yeah. Doctor like Who. It. Oh, yeah. good. Uh, you make, the, you make Steph's, Steph's club. Yeah. Harvey, <laughs> your favourite show? Uh, definitely going to have to go with Firefly at the moment. Firefly? Oh, you know. Why is that? Bit of an outsider. Mm, more, it's, I, I think it's our generation's Faulty Towers. There's only one season of it, and we're banging on forever about how there should have been more. So long as you don't mention the war. T tell oh. me what it's about. I, I, don't, I, I don't know about it. It's cowboys in space. Oh, and Nathan great Fillion premise. being handsome. Combining. Oh, and they're handsome. Bonus. No, no, just Nathan Fillion. Combining okay. sci fi and western. Joey, you've got quite an articulate one on your team there. Now, over to the bar, as always, we have Matthew and Veronica serving us some drinks. Yes, we do today. We have uh, some fantastic shots going down for us. That Classic. Are oh, friends inspired. So I've got a special one for you, buddy. Thank Especially you, with your name on it. Oh, it's, there's a mystery double shot floating around here uh, somewhere, guys. So look out for it. Try not to vomit. Can Enjoy I yourself. I beg your pardon. <laughs> so someone is going to get twice as much alcohol. That'll yes, be interesting to will. see uh, how that eventuates. Thank you, Matthew. Now, if you want to see uh, Matthew make those shots, then you can go to our uh, YouTube page. Check out the link at the bottom of yay screen. There it is right now. But uh, for now, how about we get into some questions, guys? Let's do something. Let's do some work. Let's get into it. Yeah. Excellent. Q and A, TV Q and A. All right, fingers on your buzzers. I'll ask a question, buzz in if you know the answer. Fairly straightforward. Here we go. Which comedy variety TV series is known for their skit, The Swedish Chef? That was the Reds. Muppets tonight. Muppets, uh, I'll give you that, The Muppets Show. Yes, clearly you knew The Muppets bit. Who is the actress that plays Vicky Steubing, the captain's daughter in The Love Boat? Uh... Oh, we've got we've drawn a bit of a blank there. If we sing the song, could we get half a point? <laughs> if you sing the song, then I will uh, I will laugh, but you won't get any points. No, I'm afraid okay. not. Uh, Jill Whelan is the answer there, Jill Whelan. Which 70s sitcom starring Ron Howard had the... Uh, yes? Happy days. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. How many sitcoms star Ron Howard, really? Process of elimination. <laughs> OK, who is responsible for the voice of Charles Townsend in the crime drama Charlie's Angels? We've got another couple. We've got a couple of tricky ones this week. Doesn't look like anyone's got that one. I'm going to. Oh, we've got a buzz from the red. Is it a. Uh, Dan. Dan <laughs> no, not no. Bill Murray. It's not Bill Murray. John Forsyth is the oh, answer there. Bill Murray did the film. Name the character from Hogan's Heroes that features in a Simpsons episode as Homer's conscience, showing him what life would be like if he'd married. Yes, from the bar. Colonel Clink, absolutely it was Colonel Clink. Congratulations, the bar are on fire tonight as well, oh, not just nice. with the drinks. Good We're going to move on to the game Odd One Out. I'm going to give you a few options. Please tell me which of the following does not belong. Here we go. Who does not belong out of the following? Elf Stewart, George Wilson, Cliff Huxtable, Harold Bishop. Greens. I don't know. Harold Bishop. The answer is not Harold Bishop. Does anyone else want to give it a go? Bars. Oh, that would be Cliff. It would not be Cliff. It would not be Cliff. Reds? Alf? Alf Stewart. No, no. Oh, you've got it wrong. What are the odds of that? I can't give you another one. shot. Oh, yes, George Wilson <laughs> is in fact not a TV dad. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. okay. Mm. There you go. Yeah, right. Good Here's question. 
Oh, I tricked you yeah, all. Well done. Good question. Here's well done, another actually. I'm being tricky this week. Gordon <laughs> Shum, the, your next list. Gordon Shumway, Mork, Uncle Martin, and the Doctor. Reds. Uh, Gordon. The answer is yes. Gordon Shumway, he's the only alien that does not look like a human. Mm. Mm. Well done, Team Red. Okay, who, uh, who out of the following does not belong? Alex P. Keaton, Mallory Keaton, or Elise Keaton? It's one in three. Greens. The Alice. Alice. Cause it's a different start to the name. Well, Elise, Meta. yes, I will give you the point because it is Elise, but unfortunately <laughs> <laughs> it's because she's not the child of the of the Keaton family. Family ties is the sitcom. She's the mother, not a child. Mm. Mm. And that the start of her name is different as well. Yes. <laughs> All right. Odd one in. This this is a little bit different. Which of the following is correct? The TV series Home Improvement. Was uh, is known for one of the following. I haven't given time. them to you yet. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, the options are Hammer Time, Tim Time. <laughs> Reds. I think they. I think they know what's coming. Tool time. Tool time. Tool time indeed. Was the name of the segment on Home Improvement? I got it. Absolutely. Yeah. I totally got it. I totally Ninja. Got that. I know. I know. Sexist. <laughs> <laughs> Pushing a few issues here on Friday Night Drinks. OK, we're going to move on to another round called Guess the TV Show. Right, I'm going to give you a description of a TV show. Tell me what the TV show is. Here we go. A man finds a willing slave and stifles her creativity... I dream of Jeannie. Absolutely, I, I dream of Jeannie. She was indeed a willing slave, the Jeannie. The life and times of a group of recovering alcoholics and a group of barflies... Cheers. Cheers. Very, very good. You know, Arby's on the, on the ball today. <sighs> Okay, one final one. A family man struggling with the family business and those who wish to bring him down finds comfort in going to therapy despite what others think about it. Ah, uh, Sopranos. Uh, Sopranos. Absolutely, it was the Sopranos. <coughs> I was about to launch the, the whole crime thing in as a bit of an extra clue, but you didn't need it. Arby, is on fire. Joey, you've, you've got some good guests. Well, I haven't actually watched the Sopranos either. It's just the psychiatry thing gave it off. Wow. Because it wasn't Frasier. Genius. It, cer it certainly wasn't <laughs> Frasier. I would give you an extra point for that as well, but that's probably not fair. All right. Uh, shall we go to a score check? Do you want to have a score check? No. <laughs> okay. I, I think we know, we actually. Two points for both the green team and the bar. Well done to the bar. And five points for Team Red. They've got an early lead, but there is plenty of time left. Plenty of time left to come back. Now, for a question for everyone watching at home. In the TV show Get Smart, name the malfunctioning machine that is used to relay information. Oh, mm. I know that one. Yeah. Oh, well, that's for them. Don't <laughs> give it away. After the break, we'll come back and enjoy a little bit of music. Don't change the channel. Come back for Friday Night Drinks. Welcome back to Friday Night Drinks. We are sitting around uh, enjoying our multicoloured Friends inspired shots. Special thanks to Matthew and Veronica over there at the bar. What colours have everyone got? What's yours, Maddie? I think it's yellow. It's a yellowy kind of. What friend is that? Who, who in, which friend is the yellow one based on, Maddie? I do believe that's Monica. That's no, Monica. That's Phoebe, isn't it? Yeah, it's Phoebe. I do believe that's Phoebe. Phoebe's <laughs> <laughs> kind of yellowish. You want it to be. It's what have I got here? Everybody. I've kind of got a black one. It's like black like my heart. After the first uh, few rounds, the green team are on two points, the reds are on five, bit of an early lead, and the barmen are doing, the bar staff are doing very, very well as also on two points. We're going to move on. Let's have some music. I'm going to play you two seconds of a TV show song, and I want you to tell me what song does it come from. You ready? Mm -hmm. uh, what show does it come from? Mm -hmm. Here comes the first song. Hmm. Mm. It's a tricky one. Mm, tricky one. Maybe Very we should have it again. Song number one. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Can we have one, one more time? One more go. All right. One more time. One more go. Was it Red. Tim the Tim the Toolman. Home Improvement. Home Improvement. It is go. indeed Home yeah, Improvement. Yeah, yeah. Oh, excellent. Song number two. Where Reds again. Gilligan's Island. Gilligan's Island, Arvi, quick off the mark. Oh, I knew that one. Ah, <laughs> it's, all, it's all about the quickness on the buzzer. Song three. Mmm. Yes, greens. 
Hogan's Heroes. It was not Hogan's okay. Heroes. The bar staff also buzzed in. Look, all I could hear was a whistle, and my first thought was Lassie. Lassie indeed. Oh. Well done. Yes. Very, very good. The barman gets home late uh, at night. He just watches all this late night I TV. See. He finds Lassie. I love puppies. What can I say? <laughs> Song four. Bar staff, yeah, that was the bar. Bar staff. Yes, yes. <laughs> Beg your pardon? Happy days. Veronica, very good. She's Happy days. Not for us, not for us. <laughs> no. Maybe this one will be for you. Get that buzzer really, really close. A little close. Hands practically on top of it. Here we go. Song five. Ah, <laughs> uh, you did get that one, yes. Um, Brady Bunch? No, didn't, no, 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 it wasn't, no, it wasn't. Not, she, she didn't say that. She didn't say no, that. She, 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 said that. It. she didn't say that. Shush, kebab. I will give you another, I will give you another crack at it, Team <laughs> Green, I'll give you another crack. Oh yeah, Bewitched. It's bewitched. bewitched, it is Bewitched. I'll give you that one, Team Green. Back on, back on the scoreboard. They all sound the same. <laughs> they do after a while, don't they? Next one. It's time to play the mm, bar staff. The Muppets. The Muppets, the Muppets, correct. Yes, I just wanted to oof, double check. <laughs> uh, it's the next one. Oh, said. Ooh, that was pretty borderline. I'm gonna have to go upstairs. Who was that? Ooh, it was the Reds. It was the Reds. Because I just got this the other round, yeah? Yes. Oh, come on. No, oh. I have nothing. With the psychiatry and all that? Oh, come okay, on. the Sopranos. Yeah. Thank something. you. Oh, Joey. There you go. Joey, there the you intelligence. Go. Thank you. I've never Thank seen you. an ep Have you ever seen an episode of Sopranos? I've, I've watched a little bits and pieces. Uh, yeah. He's heard the theme the song. Yeah, so glad you can say Frasier. We have a TV at my mm. house. This that... is a real disservice to this episode. You're, no wonder you're struggling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, final song. <laughs> That going upstairs, who was that? Sounds familiar. That was me. That was. We're going to go with the greens. Oh. Yes. And um, I believe that seventh heaven. Oh. Mash. Mash. Oh my God. Oh. Mash. Oh. I'm going to have. Mash. I can't no, give you that no, one. I'm I declare right. shenanigans. I was um, we were second. We'll go with her. Mash. Excuse oh. me. We'll I'm going to have to go with uh, the mash? the bar staff oh. there. Give the give the point oh. to the bar staff. Oh. Mash. It was indeed mash. Big clap. It's because it's top the person. I can get my top off too. Oh, well, you know, that might make for interesting TV, but we're going to move on to our next round. Finish the lyric. I will give you the start of a lyric. I want you to then buzz in and finish the lyric for me. The theme is TV classics, finish the lyrics. Here we go. I want to be the very best, like no one ever ah! was. To catch them is my rule, test to train them is my cause. Correct, Team Green. Oh, yes. Number two. <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. This will go up to your heart is true, you're a pal and a confidant. The Golden Girls. It is the Golden Lyrics. Girls. You have to finish the lyric. Uh, your heart is true. And rain or shine. Because uh, rain or shine. You're the. I, can't remember. I believe in you, Veronica. You are a golden girl, you. Veronica. You should do this. Oh. <laughs> you know, in the nicest way. Isn't oh. there a lovely person? Not like you're old, old. and decrepit. I think you're a lovely, says the girl with golden, golden hair. Person. Dig, dig, dig. Says the woman with uh, <laughs> the woman with no TV. Uh, unfortunately, that was not the next no, lyric. Sarah. Okay. Does anyone else want to give it a crack? Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. It was the golden girl, but the next lyric was, yes. And if you had a party and invited everyone you knew. You would say that the biggest gift would be from me saying thank you for being a friend. How much TV do you watch? He's correct. Wow. He's I don't actually watch me. that much. It's just it's on in the background while I'm reading a book. Yeah, and I hear yeah, it all. Yeah, and he absorbs yeah. all while the information. I'm reading a book. Oh, you yeah. love the Golden Girls. Yeah. Do you want me to spoil the next three seasons of Game yeah. of Thrones for you? Because I totally can. Oh, I haven't seen great. an episode of Game Not one. I have not seen one episode of Game don't of Thrones. Don't you dare. I well, should not be on the show. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a bit hard to see without a TV, to be fair. <laughs> Who am I is our next game. The value of the question will lower the longer you take. Is everyone ready? Who I am I? For 10 points, I was born Barbara Jean Moorhead in Tucson, Arizona. For 8 points, my show has risen in popularity significantly since it was cancelled. Every show. <laughs> Every single show. This, this is true. Yep. That doesn't really narrow it down. Six yep. points. A group of executives once spent a day talking about whether my belly button was inappropriate or not. That was the red. Dream of Jeannie. Yes. What is my name? Oh. Uh, sorry. Ding. I, I know. Okay, I'm going to have to go to the Greens. Barbara Eden. Barbara Eden, correct. Uh, Maddie. Nice. Maddie from the outside That's dark nice. horse. Okay. okay. I my bong earlier this year. Oh, oh, didn't didn't hear that that fact while you were reading your book. Here we go. Who am I? 
born March 22, 1931, Côte Saint-Luc, Quebec, Canada. Ten points. For eight points, in my TV career I have played a captain, a police officer and a lawyer. All quite famous roles. Six points. After the cancellation of what is my most popular show and the divorce of my wife, I lived in a truck bed camper and took many odd jobs to support my family. For four points, I have a music career. Red? William Shatner? Yes, William Shatner. Yeah. How he re oh, yeah, re rekindles his, himself. The next who am I? Okay. For ten points. Ooh. According to my biography, I was born in 1940 in Brooklyn, New York. Just according to his biography, <laughs> not on his birth certificate. <laughs> Just. Just yeah. the biography was. I, I don't know what that means. For eight points, I'm bad with directions. I always forget to turn left at Albuquerque. Oh, oh ding! Ooh, who was that? Who was that? We're going to go with the, te the team red. Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny, indeed. Ah, very, very good. Yeah, that's why. That's why the biography thing was a bit weird. No birth certificate. Yeah. Yes. That makes sense. Yeah. Who am I? For ten points, I'm not real, but I have been interviewed and treated as a real person for a very long time now. For eight points. Uh, yes, greens. Just because you said for a very long time now, I'm thinking the longest running TV fictional series. So I'm going to go with The Simpsons, the and Sim I'm going to go with Homer. I like the way you're thinking, That's but you're unfortunately not correct. It's usually the case. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately for you, you don't lose 10 points. Uh, does someone else want to give it a go? The bar staff? Elmo. Not Elmo, Hi. but everyone's thinking really, really creatively. Uh, I'm going to give the green team another crack at it. Sherlock Holmes? Not Sherlock Holmes. Okay. All right. Let's continue with this one. Curious. Okay. Eight points. I have been a singer in a few TV programs and also in quite a few movies. For six points, I have been a stage manager and a news reporter. For four points, I have worked with many celebrities, so many it would be impossible to name them all. For two points, I am in love with a pig. Reds. Kermit the Frog. It is indeed Kermit the Frog, Kermit. the object of his affection being Miss Piggy. Congratulations. Oh, well, well done, Green everyone. Oh, I get it. I get it. Little, and you are on Team Green as well. We're going to go with the score update. This could be a little bit scary because I'm not sure what to expect. Oh. The Reds are flying ahead at the moment on 23 points. The Greens have made up a little bit of ground on the bar staff. They're 10. And the Blues are on 6. Well done to the bar staff over there. You're watching Friday Night Drinks. We'll be back with our final round in just a few moments. You can really taste the black. Welcome back to Friday Night Drinks. I hope that break has left you refreshed and ready for our final rounds. Now, we did leave you with a home viewer question earlier. Made you wait an entire segment to give you the answer. In the TV show Get Smart, name the malfunctioning machine that is used to relay info. Steph, you were desperate to show us that you knew the answer. What's the answer to that one? Uh, green. It's <laughs> the... Wow, well, I'm really, really glad you didn't answer it. Does someone else want to give it a shot? There's the cone of silence. Oh. God, you're all, you're all oh, off I your get... money at the moment. Saving that. your real intelligence for the actual questions. OK, we're going to have a score check, a score recap. The green team at the moment, you know, still struggling a little bit, but it's anyone's game. 10 points for the green team, 23 points for the reds, and 6 points for the bar staff over there, who are still in with a shot as well. OK, we're going to come up with uh, the 50-50 round at the moment, true or false which means that even if you don't know, you've still got a 50-50 chance of getting it right. So oh, it's anyone's good game. For us. We like this. <laughs> <laughs> you, might, you might be able to score good points yes, uh, yeah, even yeah. Uh, without yeah. a TV. True or false? Lovable sitcom, I Love Lucy. I... Uh, I know any I Love Lucy can finish, but we'll answer it. Mm, is TV Guide's second best TV show of all time? Is that true or the false? the best, but I'm going to go with true. Yeah, true? True, it is true. We'll give that oh, yeah. to you. Yeah. Yeah. Magical sitcom Bewitched switched the actor playing Darren. Blue Staff. True. Mmm, true. Well done for Team Blue on the bar. True or yeah. false? Drama series Law and Order have completed 500 episodes. Ooh, who was that? Was that the Greens or was that the, it was the Reds? Mm. Um, I'm going to assume Arvi's answering it, not yeah. Joey. Oh. 
Do, do, do you want to answer this? Uh, it's totally true, my friend. It is indeed false. What? Oh, oh, Joey. Oh, Joey. Oh, Joey. Oh, no, are, we about the are we talking this about the reign of Arby <laughs> is over? <laughs> are we talking about the extra seasons, though? Like, you know, <laughs> just just Law and Order, I would oh, I would assume, and not all of the spin-offs. Not, not the DVD. Well, because with the spin-offs. Arby. No. True or false? <laughs> silence. Silence on my set. True or false? <laughs> After Baywatch's California run, the show planned to move to Australia, <laughs> but was that's true. False. That one. Oh, really? oh, which one is it, Green? <laughs> okay. Look, Maddie, it's your. It, I don't you're know. my guest, so please, I insist, no. have a cup of tea, sit down, meet my wife. They plan to. <laughs> they plan to move to Australia. I'd like to meet your wife. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I was right. True or false? Well, oh, I, I don't know. Go with Maddie. Maddie says false. False. It's actually true. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Well, it's definitely not coming back. One. That's. Oh wow. <laughs> True or false? Country sitcom Green Acres was cancelled due to poor ratings. Uh, yeah, that. Uh, the Greens got that one in. Yeah, I'd say that's true. That one is actually false. Oh, oh. dear Greens, not having a good, not having a good time of it. True or false? Mel Blanc was the voice of Barney Rubble in the Flintstones. Bar staff. True. Uh, true. Mel Blanc was indeed the voice of Barney Rubble. True or false? Actor Johnny Depp's. Okay. Actor Johnny Depp's first major role was for Fox TV series 21 Jump Street. Bar staff. True. It's false, I'm afraid. Oh, 21 Jump Street was not Jump his first. Jump True or false? You're dead American to me. sitcom <laughs> Frasier was a spin off of the 80s hit Cheers. That's Greens? True. That That's one is true. true. And we agree. Yeah. Back on the board. Excellent. <laughs> true or false again? NBC sitcom Saved by the Bell was originally the Disney Channel series Good Morning Miss Bliss. Greens. Uh, everyone. Three part uh, Greens. <laughs> True or false? True. True. Uh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And last one. True or false? Science fiction hit Star Trek had eight TV series. Last off. False. False is correct. Yes! So the bastard. Oh, you know, they remake a name for themselves. We're going to go to the lightning round, so don't put those buzzers away. You're going to need all of the reflexes you can muster. Reflexes as fast as lightning, you might say. One point each. All right, this is your chance to get back into the game. Here we go. Name the TV show where the main character creates simple inventions using everyday items to solve problems that are often life or death. Red. MacGyver. MacGyver is correct, like lightning. Which character of the hit sitcom Seinfeld went golfing on the beach and hit a golf ball right into a whale's blowhole? Faster. Kramer. Kramer indeed, Cosmo Kramer. Which 60s animated sitcom was based in the year 2062? Uh, Jetsons. It, it was indeed the Jetsons. We're going to have one more. Name the actress that plays the character Jeannie from I Dream of Jeannie. The Greens. <laughs> you pressed it. You pressed it. You pressed it. No, you pressed it. We had it before. No, you me back. No, we had it before. Oh, uh, did you, you answered it before. Barbara Eden? Barbara Eden, yes. Excellent, very, very good. We're going to have to leave the questions there. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to have a final score check. I suspect the red team have won, and they have. 25 points oh. to the red team. Congratulations oh, to the Reds. Wow. The green team on 14 <laughs> points, and the bar staff on 10. You know, a pretty decent Basically. effort from over there on the bar as well. Now, back. I'm very excited about this because we have a trophy to award to you. No! Ch check this out. This here is the is the trophy. Don't, it's not yours. <laughs> <laughs> you must not touch. Congratulations wow, to well, Joey. I may as well give it to my friend here. We can be alcoholic 16-year-old girls now. <laughs> <laughs> it does kind of look like one of those 21st birthday presents, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can combine all the shots into it. But it looks like everyone's everyone's kind of finished theirs. Yeah. Congratulations and thank you to our special guests, Arvi Burnshaw and uh, Maddie Poussard. Congratulations and well done. A big thank you to our bar staff over there as well, Matthew and Veronica. Anytime, guys, anytime. Special thank you for the multicoloured drinks tonight. And of course, our wonderful team captains, Joey Philpot and Stephanie Everson Williams. Lovely and very entertaining as always. And thank you for joining us as well tonight. We had a lot of fun. Please don't forget to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Friday Night Drinks TV. Head to Twitter, uh, FND underscore TV, that's what it is. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash uh, Friday Night Drinks TV. Until next week then, please do come back. We will battle it out over our quiz theme, Australia. So, you know, hit the books, study all of your Australian themed uh, uh, propaganda at home. My name is Ashley McPherson. Catch you for drinks next week. See ya!